Hi all, and welcome to another exciting episode of Chef's Kitchen with the Norwegian Culture Center. My name is Sigrid Indeberg, and I will be your host today. And our chef today is our very team member, Olga Vika. Olga is born in Russia and later moved to Norway. And with her Norwegian husband, Jun Vika, they established the Norwegian Culture Center last year, and this year they acquired home school. And today she will make fish soup, the Bergensk fish soup for us. Before we go into the cooking, I would like to remind you of our other activities. Uh, we have the sofa chit chat, we have carrots and practice coming in February, and artist spotlight. And also a special thanks to Wow Bistro who's giving away dining vouchers today. So please engage and comment and you might be the lucky winner of vouchers at the end of the show. Now let me introduce the chef of today, Olga. Welcome. Hello guys, uh, thanks for having me. Hi Sigrid, nice Hi. to be here. <laughs> yeah, great. Could we start maybe by sharing why you picked this particular recipe for the fish soup, the Bergensk fish soup? Oh, that's actually quite a story for me, a personal story, and uh, I will definitely tell it to you. But first, I would like to tell you a little bit about the ingredients, and our audience are probably excited to know what we are going to cook and how. So uh, let's uh, start what uh, you actually need for the soup. And it's a pretty simple uh, ingredients which you can find in any supermarket. So let's start. First, you need a vegetable. It's a uh, celery. Uh, Leek. Leek in mm. English. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, carrots. Uh, then you need, of course, the fish. Uh, you can use classic recipes said that you need to use salmon and some white fish, maybe cod or something. But I just bought what I found in the supermarket. Um, then you need a uh, sour cream, quite a lot actually. Um, and uh, you need also the how you call it? Uh, cooking yeah, cream, cream yeah. cooking cream. cream. Yeah, so it's cream, but very light, like 10% fat, maybe something. Another thing you need is a little bit of uh, flour, a little bit of eddick, and the fried bacon. I just prepared in advance, but you can actually do that during the um, cooking process. Mm. So uh, let's start because I need, I want to dig into the process. So we are, yeah. we are starting even as a fast recipe. So uh, can <laughs> we, I just ask for, um, is this the broth? Is yes, the fish broth? yes. And I forgot, of course, it's the main thing is a fish broth, which you either can actually cook yourself. Uh, for that, you need just uh, the same vegetables and uh, some fish head, some bones of the fish and uh, this uh, black pepper seeds. And you boil it like for 20 minutes and then it's pretty ready. Or mm. you can put, or you can actually buy it uh, in a supermarket. I prefer to cook it myself because then, then it's more kind of um, authentic. I would say it's more tasty, it's more um, rich maybe. Or if you don't have time, you have just 20 minutes for cooking your dinner, you can just use water. It's totally fine because you will add fish and you will add flavor anyway. Okay, so let's uh, start to boil it, actually, well, that's what I need. Yeah. And I will start to cut vegetables mm -hmm. and I will tell you the story yes, why we'll I pick uh, the this, story. Uh, I pick this uh, fish soup. Yeah. Okay, so uh, that's uh, quite a personal story for me because uh, it was uh, my second date with my future husband. Mm. And we went to see the fjords. And of course, you know that the best hub to see the fjords is in Bergen. You know, like nobody, right, <laughs> Sigrid? <laughs> You're from Bergen. And then, you know, when we came there after this beautiful fjord uh, trip, and uh, we were quite lucky because it was a beautiful sunny day in mm. Bergen. In Bergen, that's yeah. rare. <laughs> <laughs> Always raining. Tell, tell, tell why it's so important, actually, because it's like 90% uh, of the time. It's, it's pretty, always raining yeah. there. So if you get a sunny day yeah. there, that's very lucky. Yeah, exactly. And we were lucky, actually. So we were blessed by the weather as well. <laughs> and then uh, we go to this, you know, uh, in Bergen, they have uh, like a huge hill and you take a special, um, uh, how called trail? Flobanan, yeah, right? Yeah. It's called Flobanan. And then you, it was a magnificent, picturesque overview of the Bergen and the fjord and the sea. And on the top of this uh, hill, it's uh, the small restaurant. Very cozy one, classic uh, Norwegian house, wooden white with a different beautiful decoration. 
And that's actually a restaurant. I, if you are in Norway, I strongly recommend you to go to this place because you will never forget it, like me. <laughs> and then uh, we uh, tried this uh, fish soup there because it's like one of the signature dishes. And uh, uh, of course, it's probably um, this uh, entourage of the second date and stuff like that. But what I was actually impressed by this dish, mm -hmm. it's like, um, it's a really nice flavor because it's so creamy and it's have a lot of fish, which mm -hmm. I love personally. I'm very much fond of uh, fish and any seafood. And then it's also the, um, it's a bit sour, you know? Mm -hmm. And I couldn't really understand why it's so sour, but then I will tell you a secret ingredient. <laughs> and then it. it was also the celery, which I actually before I never liked at all. And then I suddenly tried it, like, oh my God, it works so well. With what, with what, with a cream or with a salmon or something. Mm. And I was in love with this, uh, with this dish. So oh. it's just uh, when uh, it's a kind of in our family, I regularly cook it. Oh, that oh, sounds so, yeah. very romantic. Mm. Mm. <laughs> And for those who doesn't know, the tram going up to the mountain at Bergen, mm. it's uh, kind of similar to the tram you take in Hong Kong, if you've been there. Mm. Great story. So um, this fish soup, yeah. um, does it have any similarities to like a fish soup in Russia? Was it like very strange to you or quite uh, Yes, it was, uh, it was different actually, because in Russia, you know, we are very fond of soups. So that's why I was maybe also hooked by this dish. But uh, uh, our soups, they are more like, uh, they're not creamy, you know. Mm. It's like more like vegetables together with the meat or mm. fish or something. And it's actually quite heavy at the same time. Yeah. So no, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't find it. I, I found the, the combination of the like uh, ingredients and uh, taste was completely different for me. Uh, probably if if it would be Russian version, we would add potato inside to make it oh. even more heavy, you know, like like mm. really it's a full meal. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want a full meal, please add potato. Uh, that would be totally, I think it would work as a, with the Norwegian approach, right? Would because work as well. you are yeah. very fond of potatoes. Yeah, yeah, you really yeah. love potatoes. You're yeah. right about that. So yeah. that's a Russian tip for the Norwegian fish ship. Yeah. We can try. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Then to make it a little bit more Russian, <laughs> you can, yeah. uh, if you make, maybe want to make it a bit more Asian, you can add noodles. <laughs> or rice? <laughs> I don't know. I think it would work actually. We can, ask, right? we can ask our viewers yeah, later yeah. what you think should what you think, yeah. to make it Asian. Write yeah. us in a comment what you think. What would work the best Asian style? Okay, okay almost done. Here. Yeah, I think my... They're supposed to be this kind of big. Even if we yeah, I it. think so. Because yeah. I actually, um, uh, you know, the trick uh, in this soup also that you not overcook stuff. Mm -hmm, Vegetables mm -hmm. should be overcooked. That's why it's so fast mm. you're cooking. And it should be quite, um, I don't know, they ha in the recipe they said like half centimeter thick. Mm -hmm. You can also make uh, stripes, how you call it, stripes, right? How you, mm -hmm. you yeah, cut stripes. it. I prefer, I'm not like very advanced uh, chopping person, so I prefer to do that so simple round. And I like round. Mm. Round is good, right? <laughs> round is good. <laughs> so uh, actually, so you were living 10 years in Norway before yeah. you came to Singapore. So I'm just curious to know, when you first came to Norway, yeah. what did you find about Norwegian food? Was it interesting? Was it something very special about it? Your first mm -hmm. except on the fish soup. It was a bit different from what I get used to. And uh, I was uh, very surprised how much bread Norwegian eat. <laughs> I, thought that, bread. I thought that Russians are very fond of bread, <laughs> but you guys beat everybody. Yeah. Morning, lunch and evening. Yes, exactly. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, it's uh, very cool that Norwegian are super creative in a poleg. The, one, the thing which you put on a bread. Yeah, yeah, the bread I, topping. The yes, bread topping, yeah. I've never seen this kind of... Uh, combination so it was kind of exciting for me to what what is my husband put into the bread today <laughs> that's a bit <laughs> crazy right you've been yeah. eating bread all the yeah, time yeah yeah exactly so i think it's quite cool i cool. think actually my son came up with a new recipe for that one the other was day that? yeah tell he me he had a Surprise cracker me. <laughs> yeah he had a cracker peanut butter and cucumber like fresh one or salty <laughs> yeah, <fresh one. laughs> isn't that a new combination uh, huh? well <laughs> So yeah, I would probably try That's the just to try. Spirit, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And this uh, brown cheese was really impressive as you well. You liked it the first time? You know, um, 
it's we have in Russia we can uh, we have something very similar it's like a condensed milk but boiled so it's slightly remind this taste yeah. but it's like it first is more liquid stuff mm -hmm. and it's much more sugar in that mm. so it was a little bit like my taste I know but at the same time a little bit different mm. and I'm uh, frankly say that I have a period with brown cheese sometimes I love it sometimes I don't like it mm. but if I love it I eat a lot and then probably I kind of come down so yeah you should uh, if you if you want to kind of have some more association with Norway except salmon that's a brown cheese yes a brown cheese <laughs> yeah. for those who haven't tasted it it's kind of very sweet brown yeah. cheese it's actually mm. made for from when you've done the white cheese and there's some leftover you make mm -hmm. the brown cheese from this leftover and it's very popular with Norwegians Okay, I'm all, almost, almost done. done yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I'm almost done. I think I will not chop this big because I, I'm a bit worried to cut. Mm. Okay, uh, okay, what we do now, guys? Mm. Uh, let's see. So we put, we take all the vegetables. Again, it's a celery, uh, leek, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> word of the day the for me. One. Yes, and uh, carrots. It's up to you how you combine it. I, for example, don't like a lot of carrot in a soup, so I put a little bit less than the put in the recipe but it's totally up to you mm. so you actually put it just in a, in the broth in a broth mm. which is already boiling it should be kind of hot so how long do you think it should boil now uh, I think uh, it should be like uh, totally maybe 10 minutes uh -huh. you should not overcook it they mm. should not be clumsy or something yeah, yeah, yeah. they should be a little bit crispy so now we need to kind of speed up mm -hmm. okay what we do now I will put a cooking cream inside as well mm -hmm. to make this just pure it that's what makes it so kind of creamy. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, and then I will uh, wait until it's uh, boiling mm -hmm. a little bit. And then we turn down the heat. Okay. Uh, while uh, we are, I think I can maybe put it a little yeah. bit more. Mm -hmm. So it's boiling faster. Uh, let's see. We can uh, mix it. Mm -hmm. oh. It's already almost there. We're already <laughs> almost there. It's so nice. Do yeah. you cook often for your family? Yes, Here I do. Table. I actually like to cook. Yeah, yeah but I'm not like a super advanced recipes mm -hmm. or something. But uh, yes, I, I like to cook. Especially so for being ten years in Norway, what would you cook? Like Norwegian food or Russian food or Asian? Uh, Asian food? No, I yeah. would order it or go to the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Russian food, yes, uh, I have some favorite recipes, which is actually my husband also start to like and mm -hmm. kids, I need to kind of address uh, Russian cuisine to the kids. Mm -hmm. But uh, Norwegian is, of course, is classic salmon. This soup we quite, no, not very often, but mm. uh, quite regularly. And uh, what else? Uh, let me think. Sandwiches, different sandwiches. Uh, Friday taco. <laughs> oh yeah, very Norwegian, Mexican taco. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, uh, no, but I, lo I love this, uh, in Norway, I love these traditions, you know, mm. this traditional food, which is kind of uh, delegated to Christmas, for example, this pork belly, mm. rib, oh my God, oh, yeah, that's so, good. Very it's so good. good. I'm, I'm super, uh, like, looking forward to Christmas because oh, yeah. of that. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, okay, let's just remind our viewers yeah. to engage yourself, comment, and yeah. invite to be in a if, dining voucher from Wild Bistro. Yeah, if you have any questions, please uh, don't hesitate to yeah, ask me. Out. Oh, it's starting to smell good. Yeah, I'm okay. getting Norwegian vibe here now. Yeah, yeah, that's mm -hmm. true. It's like uh, it looks already a bit Norwegian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> oh, very nice. Mm. Okay. Um, we're also talking about because we both have kids the same age, right? Mm. And as parents, you want them to eat healthy. Yeah. And I believe you, in particular, like to teach your kids how to eat healthy and be yeah, healthy. Yeah, yeah, of course. But how did this in interest start? Uh, you know, it starts, of course, from uh, myself mm -hmm. because uh, I was like uh, struggling with the weight all oh. my life a mm -hmm. little bit. And it was not like really with the weight, but with the habit to overeat, mm -hmm. you know, and I couldn't really recognize what is the what uh, kind of product to choose because mm -hmm. I was a bit lost to listen to my body. So I, I started to be recently more attentive to that. Mm -hmm. So I figure out that like bread with a cheese is a bit with a butter is a bit not working well mm. like uh, potato is a bit heavy you know 
thing. So I'm uh, trying to do this so-called intuitive eating. Okay. That's and that's what I want to learn my kids as well mm. because uh, it's, uh, it's super important that you understand your body signal, mm. like when it's hungry and when it's full. So you don't eat when it's hungry. Mm. Oh, I mean you eat when you're hungry and you stop eating when you're yeah. full. Yeah. And that's like, yeah, that would be uh, the best. Thanks for sharing. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's very interesting. <laughs> And just two days before Halloween. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's okay to have some, uh, yeah, yeah, some yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some fun, that is. Yeah. How's it going? Okay, let's... Uh, uh, we now, it's starting to boil, so we can go to the next stage. Mm -hmm. And uh, may I ask uh, Sigri for your help? Yes, yes. A little bit. You can take this sour cream. Mm -hmm. And you can put a vinegar inside. In this one? This, this is... It's just a... Uh, White vinegar? Uh, yeah, big spoon. How do you call it? Like uh, tablespoon. Ta tablespoon yeah, of vinegar. Of and you vinegar. mix it with 300 milliliters of yeah. uh, sour cream and you mix it. Okay. And this is the secret ingredient, which actually Ooh, make the soup a little this true? perfect, perfect sour. I ah. actually I love sour um, taste itself. So if I notice somewhere, that's why I'm so, so probably so fond of this sushi thing because of this soy sauce. It's mm. kind of give me this uh, flavor, which um, which is uh, working very well. Is that also from the Russian cuisine? The sour, what? the sour uh, taste? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we are very fond of the like sour cucumber, sour mm, cabbage, oil, pickles, yeah, 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 pickles, everything, which is, uh, yeah. Is this good enough? Yeah. I think yeah that's perfect mm -hmm. because it's like it's uh, well blended and it's not um how to say lumpy, lumpy yeah mm. so we just put it in the soup Looks and then nice uh, mix already. well yeah 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 oh my god it, I, I started to feel this uh, smell <laughs> <laughs> you guys know but yes we're on the right <laughs> we're on the right path now i just mixing it well so all the um, Blend it well. Yeah. So since you were in Norway for some time and now you've been in Singapore for like yeah, one and a half year, mm -hmm. is there any Norwegian food or even Russian food that you miss and you crave for having here in Singapore? Oh, Except well, Brunost. <laughs> yeah, Brunos. Fortunately, we have yeah, a we supply, of good <laughs> supply here, so I'm not that missing uh, actually uh, Brunos. But uh, no, you know, all my cravings actually in um, Asian cuisine. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I, because I'm a big fan of sushi and I am in general like uh, I, I love Korean barbecue. I love uh, sweet and sour, this Chinese. So here I have all my cravings covered. Oh, so it's, we it's, love Asia. I love, Asia I love Asia. Asia. I love Asia. So it's like a really <laughs> place to be for me. So, okay, now I blended everything. It mm -hmm. doesn't look any lumpy or something. Mm -hmm. Let's see the viewers. Be... Have you ever seen or tasted this kind of Norwegian fish soup? If you have any suggestions um, on kind of this Asian fish soup that might be similar to this. Because we heard our colleague Jacqueline, she said there might be this Singaporean fish soup mm -hmm. that is similar. Mm -hmm. If you have any suggestion on this soup, please comment on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, uh, let's go further. What I'm doing now is I take this uh, flour and I add a little bit of water. You can take bouillon, you can take normal water just to make a little bit of like uh, porridge. So you can pure it into the soup. Oh. So it's like, um, okay, it doesn't So matter. we have a question from the audience. Oh, yeah. Is this fish soup possible to find in Singapore, this particular one? Uh, I'm not sure. No, I don't think so, but it might be this uh, Norwegian uh, restaurants that we have because mm. it's a very typical Norwegian thing, it is, and yeah. you can actually very easy to cook it yourself. Mm. <laughs> I yeah. think it's almost faster than to order it. After this show, you can all make yeah, it at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries. And uh, as you notice, there is no like ingredients which you need to particularly kind of search for. Okay, now it's very important because you need to um, um this uh, fla flour should be melted very well so it make it you know uh, uh, for those who probably cooking a lot they know that it's starting to be a little bit more dense mm -hmm. more creamy consistent it looks very nice yeah now i can i can mm -hmm. uh, cool down a mm -hmm. bit so it's not boiling mm -hmm. because if it's uh, boiling too much it will just the foam of the milk is coming out so it will be 
disaster on the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. I had that. I was making a tissue for my son uh -huh. like a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. He's eight. Year, he's eight years old. Yeah. And now I've been in Singapore and not visiting Norway for like two years, right? Mm -hmm. So I was making this fish soup and giving it to him, and he was like, at the same time, like, oh, this is Norwegian. This is a Norwegian yeah, taste. And yeah. he was like so euphoric. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So we need to uh, put the heat down. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of not. It's kind of slowly boiling. Yeah. But just not overboil. Not yes, too. yes, yes. This is a trick, but it's so easy to yes, overboil yes. and get these soggy vegetables. Yeah, and I think uh, our vegetables is like around maybe seven, ten minutes mm -hmm. already there. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we need to actually jump into the last. Yeah, and what is the trick with the fish? Yeah, uh, okay. The trick with the fish here that it should be small pieces. Uh, because you put a fish into just a hot soup. You don't boil it. You turn up the heat immediately. Mm. And since it's so small pieces, it will kind of continue to cook in. Because since uh, it's very easy to overcook fish. Mm. And you need to keep this uh, super tender, nice, uh, yeah. fresh flavor. Okay. Uh, Part of the fish I actually have cut it, but uh, another one I will uh, cut myself just to show you the um, size of the yeah. of the. Since I don't like uh, fish smell on arms, I will <laughs> yeah. use the gloves. Yeah, you know That's a trick for you. <laughs> okay, repeat. So we have salmon, and yeah. we have what is your name? Oh, I don't know. I just uh, another fish, and then we have uh, cod, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I a kind of classic recipe is the cod, but uh, you can take whatever. Uh, so whatever white fish you like, because it's like it's looking nice. The combination of um, uh, cod and uh, uh, pink fish, mm. or like because it's uh, mm. pink fish giving you this a bit oily kind yeah. of thing. Because cod is very dry fish, yeah. so. Also, to... I sometimes use like crayfish and shrimps, yeah. and you can use some, oh. you know sh shells and absolutely whatever but, you whatever yeah. you like. Write actually. in the comments, yeah. by the way, what would you add? Because I like to, I love uh, seafood and uh, shell, and uh, you can add uh, actually um, shrimps. That's my favorite. Yeah, uh, squid, squid as well. would work yeah. uh, also. Like, what do you call it? Uh, help me, com shell. Com shell. Yeah. Something with a big shell. Oh, clams. Clams. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> from all this. Mm. <laughs> no. no, I didn't try that. Actually, okay, so nice. look at them. Yeah, look at the size yeah, of the. Perfect. Uh, it should be like this size, so like two two centimeters, not more than that. Because and this should be boiled, not boiled, but you put it into this boiling thing for just five minutes. Okay, I started to boil. I think I will maybe add a little bit of this fish, but not everything because yes, it's already just starting to be boiling. ready. Looks perfect. Starting to be ready. Okay, moment of glory. <clears throat> so we actually turn off the heat. It's boiling, you see, it's boiling. So it's super hot mm -hmm. and you turn off the heat just like that. And then we need five minutes really. And I'm, I'm really, uh, encourage you to put a timer on that because uh, I'm gonna do that Five yeah minutes. because uh, if you overcook the fish it uh, will take uh, lose a lot of the charm of the soup <clears throat> okay five minutes starting now starting now yes yeah, yeah. and while we wait in this five minutes I will uh, actually in Norway this uh, process where you're not boiling it mm -hmm. it's called and mm. I don't actually know the English word for it. It's yeah. hard to explain because it's not boiling. It's not steaming. It's just kind of getting mm -hmm. yeah. done in the pot. It's sauce. like it's like a bit mm. you are doing with the meat. I think resting maybe resting, resting. maybe resting because when you're taking the meat out of the cooking, then you actually uh, then you let it uh, let it lie yeah. without right, heat. Like yeah, yeah, something like that. Okay. Looks delicious. Yeah, I think it's almost yeah. ready now. I mean, at least salmon. Oh, it's four it's minutes really. left. Yeah. So let's just. Uh... Any questions? Please feel free to comment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. And the, the last thing which we need to do is mm -hmm. you take a uh, bacon. You can bake the bacon. You can fry the bacon. It just should be a little bit crispy. And you just uh, cut it into small pieces and you put it on top of the soup. Like, uh, 
decoration or like yeah, giving perfect. you a bit it's, smoked yeah. uh, flavor. It's nice with some salt. Yes, and yes. On top. Yeah, rem also, remind me to put the salt and pepper. Okay, oh, maybe I can trust pepper. you, actually. <laughs> you can do that. Okay, some salt and pepper. Yeah, because the, the broth itself, I made not very salty. So, How much? Um, I think we can uh, see. Brave? No, because it's quite a Let's deeper. try first. Yeah, yeah okay. And uh, black and the, pepper. Yeah, okay. Actually, when I cook cod at home, mm. we usually have like cod and it's uh, like a buttery sauce and mm. always bacon because it adds this kind of yes, salty nice flavor. Yes, 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 I agree totally. You can't spoil anything with the bacon, <laughs> no. <laughs> That's the saying. More pepper, what do you think? I think it's enough, but yeah. it might be more salt. We, we need to taste, I okay. think. Uh, mm -hmm. So I will just finish the chopping then. Yeah, now it's two and a half minutes left mm -hmm. to the fish is done. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm excited to try. So it's uh, quite a long uh, while which I actually uh, cooked this dish, yeah. so I'm grateful to this chance to eat it again. <laughs> Did you ever try any of the fishes they have here in Singapore? You know, I heard a lot uh, because um, about the local fish soup, mm -hmm. but I was always like couldn't find it <laughs> because it's so many. When you come to yeah. the hawker center, there's so many of these, yeah. uh, how do you call it, restaurants there. Yeah. It's like, what is this? What is the right one? So I would love to try it. It looks yeah. uh, very good. Anyone have any recommendations? Please, yeah. please comment. Yeah, if you can uh, give us uh, some good tips where we can find the authentic <laughs> Singaporean mm. fish soup or Asian fish soup or something, I would love to try it. That's for sure. Okay, right. so Two this is this is just decoration. Timer. Let's see. I will mix it a little bit. I think we could add more salt. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay, when do Norwegian eat fish soup? That's a question from the audience. So when is it? Except from the mountain in Bergen. When? When? Is it like summer, winter, spring? I think it's uh, US and Norwegian probably. Around. I think it's all year round. Yeah. I mean, at least we eat all year round. It yeah. doesn't really um, matter because it's like a warm dish. Mm. So you can really, and it's quite uh, uh, heavy let's yeah, say so yeah. it's a full lunch if mm. you eat it for lunch i know that norwegian eat soup for dinner no yeah we never eat like a warm lunch in yeah. norway <laughs> you know we eat bread yeah so fish soup would always be dinner or maybe an afternoon yeah. like a, a night snack because for russian it's always lunch you yeah, know? yeah. <laughs> like, no that's that's norway in particular no warm lunch yeah. <laughs> how's it uh, here in singapore by the way tell us uh, yeah when do you eat fish in soup asia here in singapore? When is, do you have any kind of yeah particular time for that or it's also can be yeah, I think it's actually salmon is definitely ready. So let's yeah, see the white fish, another... white fish. Oh, 50 seconds left. Yeah, <laughs> final ready. countdown. Yeah, should we make? Yeah, we should uh, do this. Uh... You have to taste it, right? Yes, looking forward. I'm a little bit, yeah, but bacon with the bacon as well. Yeah. yeah, so we can make it uh, tidy a little bit. And we can do that. How's that? Yeah, I think we can uh, f forgive this um, uh, 15 seconds thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, are you I'm ready, Sigri? It. I'm ready. I'm so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this, guys. Huh? Look at oh, this. Beautiful. beautiful huh? Oh, my God. Anyone getting hungry at the audience? Yeah. I will give you a lot of, a lot of uh, fish. I think it uh, looks amazing. Oh, it looks amazing. Yeah, maybe carrot for the colors. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oops. Oops. Sorry. Here. So we will now taste it, and we will try to. I will try to. Oh. Oh, this is really some bacon. Yes, yes, yes. Some bacon hot. I can. Okay. Let's stick it on the top as decoration. Mm -hmm. And the celery is beautiful, really uh, working nice. Okay, please have a look at this yeah. nice soup. So, some bacon on top. Okay. 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 Here Ready to taste? Yes. Mm, let's do looking that. Looking forward. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Do salmon. Mm. Mm. Very good. Yeah. Very Norwegian. Yes, it mm. is. Mm. Super. Mm. 
Mm. I've added a little bit of uh, salt, but um, maybe a tiny bit more salt. Yeah. yeah. But it's good just to start with a little bit of salt mm. and then you can add on. Thank you. Yeah, because it's like uh, people are different in, um, in the preferences. Mm -hmm. Is it my spoon? Yeah. No, I think it's uh, really nice. How often do you eat soup with your family? Not too often. Not too often. Okay. No, no. Only bread. Only, only bread. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, here in Asia, I do enjoy like a warm lunch. Yeah, but that's true. Same as you. I, yeah. I love the Asian food, mm -hmm. so I'd rather eat that. And you can eat Norwegian food when you're home. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, the vegetables are super crispy and yeah. nice. Yeah, it's very just, good. Just a nice boy. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Success. <laughs> very well I done. I still remember how to do it. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. 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 <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, then I think we have some winners here. Ready mm -hmm. to announce, team? Okay, so our ten dollar vouchers winners are Joan J, Nadetsa, uh, Nadetsa. Hang Jung, 88, Ali Zian, Nico, and Susanna Quack. Congratulations. Well done, guys. Enjoy them. From Wow Bistro. Mm -hmm. Good. Enjoy the great uh, dinner or lunch. Yeah. The place, yeah. It's a nice place. Yeah, so thank you mm -hmm. to Wow Bistro for those uh, dining vouchers. I hope you guys enjoy them. Then I will just say thank you to our fantastic chef. Thank well, you very much. Brilliant fish Thanks soup. for having um, me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you to the viewers for joining our show. I hope we inspire you to make your soup at home. Yes, and maybe we even learn some new thing about Norwegian culture.